Okay, so before we continue to creating details, I want to do that um, constraint a little bit more on the displacement because of right here, this size, maybe I don't like how it's come up. So what I want to do, I want to create additional mask to this and combine. And here's you can create multiple ways this mask. You can also going by using the function, mix, and you can mix it different mask. But what I'm going to do is utilize another shader and we'll use a surface shader, just surface layer right here. And we'll use this one as our masking to work with the altitude or slope constraint. So I'm going to take the simple shader and connect to the mask shader for our surface and next using this one as mask show. So we'll have this follow workflow going from simple shader mask, we'll use it here, and now surface share will be used as a mask. Okay, let's go ahead and constrain a little bit right here on altitude for hours. So I'm going to the altitude constraint and limited minimum altitude. You notice how right here instantly it's limited where the displacement is applied. So we can actually set top in minimum for this. What I'm going to do is bring this to the zero, right here actually maybe even five, and reduce this to 100. Again, the fuzziness is how smooth it will go transition. But overall it may help me to create this nicely little bit better um, migrations between both of them. Okay, I can always modify a little bit more, creating a little bit nicer area in this. Okay, so right here is another mask we was applying, kind of more combined mask. So now what I want to do, it is take um, the area right here and apply more defined details. The one thing is only right now when I'm starting to add maybe another power of fractal shaders right here. You remember we have the same problems with the computing terrain. So we actually need created second computing terrain now at this place. So let's copy, paste. On this case, now we'll take all those um, vectors that we're creating and we're calculating this. So we can select, copy, just easiest, fastest way to do. This way with the masking, what we have it, and just apply it as a small detail. So what I'm going to do, it's connecting right here, one more, between. And now in, in the Power Fractal, instead our features, I need to go modify them and make them for the small detail. So we're going inside the feature scales and let's reduce this to maybe five. We'll take smaller feature again and set to one. So now we have a teeny tiny kind of effects. In the displacement, I want to leave it as default except 500 is too big. So I'm going to 50 because this is just a small kind of cracks or other effects inside the rock. Okay, let's go to the noise. We'll reduce this one, leave it same. You can always switch to different and try see which one works. Sometimes more and I different mix between them may work very well for the larger and smaller effect as well. Okay, and uh, displacement right here, roughness, we can just slightly pop up. Okay, currently right here this masking. So what I want to do, it's maybe bring this, leave a little bit more smoothness right on the bottom and bring those details a little bit higher because if I put this as an island in the water around, this is where smoothness and roughness will go up. So let's go do this way. Right here, we'll go to our surface. We'll go to altitude. And I'm going to increase maximum altitude to 100. 
and set pheasants to 100. So it will have a little bit smoother right around this area. Let's render and see how it will work now. And I can see right now we have a very nice effect, roughness. So I need to twink a little bit more. I need it apply more to the general shape so it will look kind of interesting more. And again, maybe reduce this small effects a little bit stronger. So we'll go and tweak a little bit more on this. Let's go right now in the our shape and we can let's actually call this um, shape so kind of know what is this one represent and let's go to displacement pop up maybe even more okay we'll go to the scale just just to see if we can apply this more interesting kind of rocky shape to this the other ways also we can reduce lead in which is create just a little bit roughness in some cases but again, you can experiment or maybe even create larger. So you can experiment between all of this, see which shape is giving to you. But how I say, I want a little bit more rough, so I'll do this way. Let's go into displacement. I'll take offset, leave it back, create a little bit sharpness. But let me even put it more displacement overall. So yeah, we have it nice effects going right here tweak noise just slightly down and how i say it, you can try perlin or um or i see which one you prefer better for this one i'll just leave it as before and if we want to add some little bit more volcanic kind of shape we can go inside the warp and enable a little bit but Again, this is, I'll leave it up to you to modify. And next, we'll go in the small ones, noise. And I want modify here. So I actually will set less, just one on displacement. So it will be very smooth. Okay, we'll take scale and pop up this a little bit higher. Let's take lead in and set less on this. Smaller features, about right. Okay, we'll go on a roughness and let's take roughness even down that it should be smooth out as well on our altitude constraint let's bring this even higher so we'll kind of start cleaning this area down so it will be smoother a little bit more rough on top okay i'm going to go to preview now okay so right here i'll notice i do like general shape overall Let's have it nice, the kind of fluid effect. However, the small ones effect, small rocks need pop up, not small rocks, but details need pop up just slightly more. So let's go back to this one. We'll go to displacement and increase the displacement by on eight. So it will give it. And of course we need to reduce so it will add some of those nice details. Okay, let's, um, I don't like how right here work this area. So I'm going to work a little bit more on this and we're going to do this in the um, next tutorial. But before, let's take our mask and connecting from surface. So we isolated the small details just to this area as well. 